Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the ignition primary waveform uh, analysis. Now on screen here, as you can see, this is uh, taken from our... Um, it's an eight-channel oscilloscope software and hardware that we have on our website. <clears throat> so anyhow, what you're seeing here is a uh, uh, a sample waveform that comes with the software itself. This is why this software is very, very uh, practical uh, because it already has a library of waveforms built inside. And you can expand it as you go along in your... A repair uh, a profession, you know, as an auto mechanic or if you, even if you work on your own vehicle. So anyhow, <clears throat> as you can see here, uh, what we're seeing now, it's a secondary. This is actually primary, but the secondary looks exactly the same. There are, are advantages into using the, the secondary, but this is the primary. This is what you would get when you tap into the actual coil, uh, the negative and the positive that go into the coil itself, okay? Uh, now, there are ways to, uh, to tap into it. We're not going to go into, the, uh, uh, into how to tap in, in, into the actual uh, coil, but we are going to show you a video here uh, from our waveform, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, our uh, video library that we have. <clears throat> we have about thousands of these uh, video clips uh, on courses that we actually give out. Anyhow, so this, uh, take a look at this video. The ignition coil is a step-up transformer, which is in charge of stepping up the voltage needed to ignite the fuel mixture. OVD2 codes P0350 to P0362 denote to circuit fault to one of the ignition coils. The coil is composed of the primary and secondary circuits. The primary circuit has two terminals and is connected to steady battery voltage and to the ignition module or ECM. A relay, or the ignitions which provide steady power to one side, at all times. The ignition module, or ECM then provides a pulsing ground to the other side. The secondary circuit is connected to the spark plugs and carries the high voltage. A fault at either of these two circuits will create a misfire. Whatever happens at the primary, is mirrored at the secondary. The ECM or module always looks for a returning voltage through the coil itself. So, the 12 volts is connected at one side of the coil, then through the coil itself, and is seen right at the module or ECM terminal. If this voltage is missing, the ECM issues an open or low circuit OVD2 code. This could be due to a loose connector, broken wire, blown 12 volt ignition fuse, or a defective coil itself. The ECM or respective module needs to see this 12 volts at all times. To test, simply probe with a multimeter right at the ECM or ignition module pulsed wire itself. If no voltage is seen with key on, engine off, then trace the open circuit. If 12 volts is seen, then the ECM or module is defective internally. Okay, now back to the video. Again, we're... Uh this is the actual uh, the sample uh, waveform that the scope gives you. We're going to go into analyzing this particular waveform and what it means, so all these uh, little things. Waveform, uh, ignition waveforms are very useful, okay? Why? Because you could tell a lot. You could tell if your injector is clogged. You could tell, you could tell if you have uh, bad ignition components uh, without even... Uh, you, could, you could tell if you have a compression problem by just analyzing... Uh, this particular uh, waveform. Uh, so again, uh, this is what you would see um, uh, f um, on the uh, on the when you do the actual primary ignition, and the secondary looks the same. Now, as you can see here, this is the actual waveform. We're moving it up and down, <coughs> but this is the sample waveform that you get. Uh, assume that it's a capture, you know, because you could do captures with the with the scope. Uh, so assume that this is an actual capture. Uh, uh, and then this is what you would see. Uh, no. Now, <clears throat> on the waveform itself, the first thing you're going to see, it's a, uh, the first thing you're going to see is a zero. This is the zero line right here. So we have, uh, this is the down spike, this little down spike. This is the injector between here and here. 
okay this is where the uh, uh, ignition module or ECM is turning on uh, the coil so this is on time right here okay <clears throat> now the on time let's see if we could put plot some graphs in there okay and we're gonna do the cursor so we're gonna do let's see if we could do vertical and horizontals so we could do let's do the vertical ones okay there we go now this here between here and here okay so this is the actual injector open time okay so injector on time okay uh in other words you know this is the actual coil not injector i, I we're meant to say coil this is the actual coil turning on okay this is important because this tells you right away if you have an issue with uh ground because remember this is 12 volts and this is the ecm or the ignition module grounding over here this little spike here going all the way now this is this is how the 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 uh the ignition module is being grounded by usually by the ignition module or the ecm itself so if you don't have a good ground here then you're not going to have this after okay and now that's one and then then you have this side here between here and here <clears throat> let's see if we could just plot the two lines in there okay so this is the actual spike okay now the spike tells you a lot okay uh, so as you can see here this is normal so this is the spark line right here okay this is the spike okay the, the this is the actual sp um, turn on spike this is what you get okay from here to here okay and this is the on time so this is the actual spike of the uh, uh this is the time that the, the spark plug was sparking okay so this is after the collapsing magnetic field here okay so this is the on time again this is the on time then you're going to get the spark what you're looking for are two things the spark line this the, this is the actual the uh um the kick this is the actual uh spark kick okay so let me see if i could plot another another cursor or well, this is going to be the horizontal okay now this is the horizontal between here and here okay that's the kick okay that's the spark um uh, the spark line you know the, the kick <clears throat> i'm sorry not the spark line the spark line is this one down here now this is the kick this has to have a certain kick because uh, after the ignition coil is turned off and this is the off time that we explained before okay after the ignition um uh, the, the coil is turned off you're going to get the kick okay this kick is usually uh, uh cut off there's a cut off usually around 35 to 45 volts sometimes it's even higher on the old cars it's, it's even is it definitely higher there's a zener diode that actually cuts off this uh the spike you know the inductive spike uh and so but usually if you get a little spike you know under under 30 volts there's something wrong uh, with your ignition module or the ECM itself. Okay, so that's that's one thing now this again Between here and here. That's a spark line. So the spark line has to have a certain height at the beginning and a certain height height at the end Okay <clears throat> And this tells you uh, Exactly what's going on if the spark line is veering up between here and here going all the way down Okay then you have an issue okay with other other lean usually a lean condition uh would actually cause this spark line rather than go from here to 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 all the way down like over here okay so the spark line is going to be all the way up here okay so you're going to see the spark line from there okay uh so again this is how you can tell if you have a lean condition why would you have a lean condition so you have a vacuum leak or you have a uh, an injector that's clogged or what have you so if you see the spark line coming from up here uh, 
or going all the way down, uh, then you have an issue, and that's your issue, okay? Uh, at the end of the spot line, okay, then you're gonna um, you're gonna have this uh, undulation here, and this is uh, the remnants of the actual coil, and this shows you the actual. And again, let, let's see if we could plot the. We could do a vertical plot here. Now this is on the cursor type vertical. Okay, <clears throat> so this this section here. Okay, this gives you the general health of the ignition coil. You have to have at least three undulations. As you can see, here we have one, we have two, and we have three. Okay, this tells me that the coil is in good condition. If you don't get that, there's something wrong with the windings, the coil. And usually if you don't get that, you're not going to get this either. But this is a way of uh, a sort of uh, reinforcing uh, what you already saw from here. So as soon as you see, if you see a, a low spark line like, like over here and only one undulation here on the, uh, on, on the ignition coil remnant, these are the oscillations after, after the, the spark, then there is something wrong with the coil, okay? So again, a lot that you can tell from ignition, this is just the, the, the tip of the iceberg pretty much as far as reading ignition waveform. When you get very proficient, we have a book uh, on our website, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com, where we actually explain to you a bunch of stuff uh, that deals with uh, reading ignition waveforms. And we have other videos as well. Uh, again, we'd like to uh, thank you for tuning in to our channel, ADP Training. Uh, subscribe to our website, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com, where we give out lots of free stuff. Uh, and uh, again, this is uh, ADP Training is our channel here where we expose you to all kinds of uh, diagnostic issues. Uh, this is pretty much a channel dedicated to automotive diagnostics. Uh, we would love if you uh, go to the bottom of the, uh, maybe on the description, you can actually um, give us a donation on uh, PayPal or go to the bottom of this uh, screen. At the bottom of the video screen, you actually see a little dollar sign where you can actually uh, donate uh, through uh, uh, YouTube, uh, dollar, two dollars, you know, five dollars, whatever, ten dollars, whatever you can, you can donate. And lastly, you can become a paid member of this channel uh, for a couple of bucks a month. It really helps us out because this stuff costs a lot of money to uh, uh, do the video editing and so on and so forth. It's it's the, and then we have a, a whole crew that helps us out, you know, uh, when it comes to uh, doing filming and, and stuff like that. Now again. Uh, thank you for tuning in to our channel and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book. Kindle ebook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.